guys, this is Faithful of Elegance for Less. Thank you for joining me today. I am going to do a upcycle. So I've shared with you guys about this wreath that I took down off my, oops, I got it upside down. I took it down. It was in my patio. Absolutely love it. But now that Easter's over, there is no need for it. So my goal is to separate <clears throat> all the eggs and to be able to remove them um, carefully, not losing too much of my moss that is on to the, the wreath. Now, if you remember this project, I had covered the wreath with the moss and I also strung lights on it. I think I still want to keep the lights on. I just want to remove the eggs. So I'm going to go ahead, remove the eggs carefully. So guys, I decided it was better to lose parts of the glitter off of the egg than to lose my moss. So I went ahead and just removed the eggs from the, the moss. So now, um, <clears throat> What you'll need for this project, if you're starting from scratch, you definitely need the Dollar Tree wire uh, wreath. If you want to have the light on it like I do, then you'll need the Dollar Tree, um, uh, what is this, the battery. Ah, the words won't come out today. Okay, so you'll need a battery operated light. And... If, I'll put the link of this um, description, so this video, so you can see how I went about the process of creating the, the moss and the light all on this particular project. So now you are going to need the Dollar Tree wreath, some moss from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need bundles of flowers which I have one, two, three, four, five. I'm assuming five should be good. And those are all from the Dollar Tree. I've said this several times. I absolutely love the flowers the Dollar Tree has this year. You'll need a cardboard. You can use any cardboard. I just have a ton of the Dollar Tree cardboards because they are so thin and it just makes it easy to work with. I went ahead and measured the mirror and decided that I wanted just a slight bit bigger because I want to flip this over and I want to place my cardboard on top. That's going to hold my mirror in place, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Move that out the way. Take my cardboard add your glue to the bottom of your cardboard be generous with it because you don't want it falling apart and like I've mentioned if you're using your Gorilla Glue it should be absolutely perfect it will work really well for you Okay, get your mirror on. Once that's dry, then you're going to glue it to the back of your wreath. So I'm going to let this dry for a bit, start to separate my flowers, and I'll be back. <clears throat> okay guys, so the mirror is glued onto the inside, and this is what it looks like. I'll bring it closer so you can't really see it but I will add possibly some more moss on the inside so you don't see the glue but it's doing really well I like the way it looks and so now I went ahead and pick my flowers and what I want to do is arrange them in such a way that I want to keep it pretty tight so I'm going to need lots of it and I'm going to do the light and the dark 
and just alternate. So I want to put them in place, see how they look. And I do have three different flowers that I'm working with that I want you guys to see. They're similar in color. I wanted them to be similar, but yet different. So this is what we're working with, and they're all from the Dollar Tree. So I've got the pink there and the peach and the pink. Now I'm going to put just the peach here, and I'm going to just do that all the way around. I think I do like alternating those keeps falling out, but I will have them arranged and glued then and come back and show you because it won't stay if I keep tilting it. So I'm going to start in this corner and basically I just pull them off the stem, add some glue and put it in. Just push it into the moss. I think even though this is going to be a farmhouse rustic style I think I want to add some glam so I may after I'm done I'll see about adding some of the not diamond wrap but possibly um, some of the Walmart gems that's what I'm thinking right now we'll see you know how I get as I feel led that's what I do don't have all the ideas all at one time it just comes to me here and there all right so guys I'm gonna go ahead finish this up let's see if I can show you what I've done so far just a little patch keep them tight close to each other and I'm gonna do that all the way around and then I'll be back So guys, as I was doing this, I forgot to mention a part of what you will need with this project is some of the Dollar Tree birds. I have these little birds here and I want to incorporate them into my DIY here because most times you do see birds where there's flowers. So I was thinking I wanted to add some birds in here. So I'm going to leave space to where I can add a bird. So let's go ahead, lay some glue down, and add a bird. So I'm going to incorporate the birds into the project. Alright. So guys, I'm wrapping up with my last bit of flowers and wanted to bring you guys in just to see just lay your glue down onto your flowers and after you know exactly where you're going to place them, insert them into your moss wreath and that's it. That's basically it. Got one more and I thought that it was going to take five batch of or bush or whatever you want to call it, I thought it was going, or stems of um, flowers, but it actually took five, six, seven, it took seven um, flowers to fill the wreath. This is the Dollar Tree wreath, which is a pretty big one, so I'm not really surprised that it did. Now I think it's finished. And I just wanted to share with you guys, I decided I wanted to add some greenery in here. So I placed them exactly where I want them to go. And now I'm going to insert them. Just as I did with the flowers. So in the areas that you choose to put them, just put your glue down, go back insert them and it's as simple as that. I am going to um, hang these up and let you, I'm most likely going to have it out here on my patio 
The only thing is, I don't know if you'll be able to see the light because it is very bright out now, but it does have light inside. I did not remove the Dollar Tree battery operated light, so it is still there. I think it will be gorgeous at night time. There is an opening here. Maybe I'll put a greenery there to cover that spot. Oh, I think I have one more flower. No? Let's just insert a greenery. And this is one of the awesome thing about having these little leaves. You can use them for fillers. So I'm just going to go around and where there are openings, I'm going to take my little um, leaves and fill them in. So there is pretty much no gap available. Okay, so so far this is what the wreath looks like and I'm going to finish that up and let you guys see. Okay guys, so here is the finished product of the wreath. <coughs> I have the birds facing the mirror. Guys, I had to put it on the front patio because the back, the lighting was horrible. So I wanted for you guys to see it. So now I have it on the front patio. I think it looks wonderful. It turned out really, really nice. I hope that you guys like it. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Give me your thoughts. Let me know what you're thinking. If this is something you'd create for your home. Definitely, I would definitely keep this on the inside of my home as well because of the mirror. Love that idea. But I have no more space on my wall. So um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I also wanted to share with you guys that I decided to put my butterfly moss wall decor outside as well it's on my patio and I guess I could show you guys what my patio looks like right now <clears throat> don't know if you guys remember the floral arrangements that I made with the rope got that there and the toilet bowl uh, plunger sticks that I made with this bowl I absolutely love love the way it turned out and so it's on my front patio and wanted to share with you guys what it looks like so I didn't know if you guys could see the light I wanted to come up closer so you guys can take a look it's not dark so it's not gluing and can't see it very well but the light is on I think it's going to be fabulous inside on the wall once I'm able to get it there <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what your thoughts are. Share with your family and friends, and I will see you on my next DIY. Okay, guys, so I decided that I was going to get it on the small wall that I always use for everything. And this is what it looks like on the inside. 